Oh. Seven, 65,000, 6,500 meters. That's insane. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna have to run in the rain with no gear. Sam, it's Hartman. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. Great. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Let's take a vehicle. Okay guys, from this point on, this game is nothing but walking, hiking, it's, it's going to be crazy. One of the things that's great about this is that this country, this, this um, fictional version of America is modeled off of the beautiful country of Iceland. If you ever wanted to know what Iceland is like, watch this. Because one of the big highlights of this game is actually the landscape, which they modeled it off after. So, yeah. Listen to what I say. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Keep it in mind. I'm just gonna go hiking in a virtual, virtual setting. And also, um. This, uh, you know, I, I, I totally get why they decided to make the last stage of this game uh, uh, hiking. Because you really get to see how beautiful this like, landscape is. Because they, they really, they basically made one of the, made this game about hiking and uh, walking and running and uh, just traveling through these vast amazing landscape <laughs> it does get more interesting but just don't get carried away of side missions okay um it's a game that there's not a lot of fighting in it there is but not a lot it's more about just this is a lot of traveling involved. Um, actually, maybe you shouldn't even watch this because it's gonna spoil the, the, the end. I'm, I'm at the end of the game. But I love, I love the traveling. That's the biggest highlights of the game is the actual traveling. Traveling by foot, by car, by all the hiking, mountain climbing. It's amazing. I would love to replay this on a giant screen. Like honestly, like a big freaking 80 inch screen. screen. I would love to be replay it again because it's so amazing. <laughs> you just did there. Now I'm seeing a part of the game. Look how realistic that looks. Look at that. I haven't even seen like so much of the game. Look at these landscapes, man. It's incredible. And the graphics. Pathetic. Whatever. 
Fuck it. I'm heading back east. Oh my god. I hope there aren't any, uh... Terrorists. There's a terrorist camp up there. Hopefully there's nobody around. Because I don't have any weapons to fight them. This northern lights. That's awesome. open world games but an open world game is only interesting if the um, the world that they crafted is um, is uh, you know interesting itself like not just a you know I like spider-man you know but but it gets a little bit repetitive with all the swinging so they really have to make it interesting but of course the theme is amazing for spider-man so we're gonna go into these um, <clears throat> this the mountain area. So we're really high. I mean, look at this. We're pretty high. Like this. This seems really realistic, actually. I have no weapons whatsoever, so I guess I won't be encountering any enemies. Look at that, man. Okay, I gotta take a screenshot of that. Okay, screenshot time. This is Death Stranding from Hideo Kojima. It's a Kojima production. <clears throat> and um, it is from the same guy who made... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so I have quite a, I have like quite a distance to uh, make. There's a lot of hiking in this game, man. Just letting you guys know. And the mountain climbing is freaking realistic. Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. This looks like it's gonna be fun, actually. I, I actually really enjoy the hiking aspect of the game. Oh, that's cool. I love the fact that they have the northern lights there. It's so cool. gonna be one hell of a trek. What year does this game take place? Very good question. Um, distant future I would nice. say. Let's pee in the snow, make some yellow snow. Pee in the snow, yellow snow. <laughs> Oh, it's melting the snow, look at that! <laughs> okay, I think I'm done here. Look at all that! <laughs> yes, you can pee in the snow. Oh, and mushrooms for him! Look at that!
So climbing mountains can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> oh shoot! Speak of the speak of the devil. I said climbing mountains can be pretty dangerous, and then I just climbed almost climbed over the freaking edge. Oh. Okay, I don't think that's a pretty that's not a short drop. Okay, I should have gone I should have went around that. I've seen the northern lights in real in, in person actually, all the way in Iceland. And it was amazing. I don't watch Transformers Animated, but I do like Transformers Prime. Which is also an oh, nice roll. I like Transformers Prime. That's a good show. That's a really good show. Best thing since G1. Hey! hey. What? Making us walk. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that scenery. Look at those northern lights. Oh my god, that's amazing. Like I said, you gotta play... These are games which you have to play on a giant screen, man. To really capture that... Uh, 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 um, uh, the, the, the feel, you know, the immersiveness. How come you don't like Transformers Animated? I never said I didn't like it. I just said I didn't watch it. Alright, there's a difference. Just because someone didn't watch it doesn't mean they don't like it. Alright? I think maybe if I watched it, I'll like it, but I still haven't watched it yet, so therefore I can't say that I, I don't like it, or like it or don't like it. Who's worse? Worse in what way? Like, worse as a bad guy? Worse as a character? Like, what do you mean? You know, you gotta, you gotta specify. Alright, we're kind of out of this snow. Ooh! Okay, let's see how much further we have to go. Oh, it's that direction. Okay. Okay, so past the, the mountain. <clears throat> Worse as a character. Hmm. I mean, they're both good characters. I mean, if we're talking about the movies, they're both good characters, but if you have to, if we have to go by... Okay, so Megatron's a classic character. Sentinel Prime's a scheming character. So in that sense... Sentinel Prime is the better villain between the two. So, if you want to say who's worse, um, Megatron's worse. Sentinel's more. They're both villainous. So, you know, it's hard to say what, you know, depending on what you really mean. <sighs> Did not watch Transformers ever. Right? <clears throat> okay, let's see where this deploying takes me. Hopefully, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, you oh no, it's going backwards. I don't want to go backwards. <laughs> Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, 
I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, there's the paleontologist. Maybe the I can get a. Uh, Begin scan. Scan and Maybe I'll just get a vehicle out of it. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons keep on keeping on until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay, let me weapons check on my gear. Uh, hmm. I gotta check on my gear. Make sure. Make sure all my boots are okay. Okay, my. You know what? I think I should actually get another pair of boots. Beginning scan. Hopefully scan the uh, place is open. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until the party. Oh, there's a truck there. there! Yes! Welcome. Sam we use transportation. Okay, let's get some uh, boots. And let's get an all-terrain skeleton. This game has durability on clothing? Yep. Okay, let's uh, attach to boot clip. Let's equip this. Now we're talking. <clears throat> oh, let's get some climbing gloves too. There we go, power gloves. Okay. Let's equip this. Put on gloves. There we go. Okay, now let's... Destiny 2? I haven't played that before. Okay, we're gonna go driving, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this game? Okay, well, I haven't finished this game, but so far, I would give it, um, I'll give it eight and a half. Yep. I would definitely give it an eight and a half. Almost a nine. It's actually really, really engaging. I think that's the most important thing. The game needs to be engaging. Even though I'm not entirely sure about the story, I think it'll all be explained later on. I think that uh, I would definitely give the game a, a, a pretty hot, like an Eight and a half, nine. Crap. Get stuck, get stuck. Once I, once I finish the game, maybe I'll give it a higher rating. Because I don't quite 100% understand the story. So that's why it's hard for me to, uh, to, to give it a higher rating. So, and, and you know what? Once I find out what the hell is really going on, they might have a really good ending. And then I'll give it a much higher score. Um, in the meantime, i got to find out where I need to go. Lake Knox City. That direction. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Don't get stuck. 
hey man, it's not easy to navigate this thing, man. And you gotta understand, I'm driving uphill, which is actually not easy. Am I gonna ask you that? Not really. Because <laughs> uh, the stream is not about that right now. We're not trying to. We're not trying to find out what is the worst thing in the series are. We're just trying to get through this. We're just trying to get through. Um, we're just trying to get through COVID-19 right now. Okay, and that is uh, just by staying indoors and then uh, being responsible and also at the same time uh, keeping ourselves busy. But you can tell me. Tell me straight up. I just don't have an answer for you if you were asking me. Oh! Okay, I made it past that car, but I'm gonna fall. Good. Okay. Well, how's that? I'm just putting the mic closer to my mouth. Stop crying! Stop crying, baby! Stop crying! Come on, baby! Stop crying! I guess I'll be doing this by foot, which is okay because I want to see the uh, the landscape. Play some music. This is actually really steep. Steep. You don't know this, but based on the angle, see, look how steep that is. Look at that. So we're. I'm literally running uphill, and the only reason why I'm able to do that is because I have these a metal, kind of like. Mechanical leggings. They help me, uh, help me, um, hey, hey, hey. get through this. I mean, you know, help me go uphill. Now we're back in the snow. Whoa, that's quite a drop. Oh no. That's not good. Alright, Primal Prey, I will see you later. I'm going this direction because I'm trying to avoid the uh, bad guys. It and from what I understand, based on my experience, they're typically never really around like steep mountains. Usually flat areas. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
We're gonna be all right. Go down to the green. Whoa. What's up, ZFAD21? Oh, shoot. See, this game's pretty crazy. They have real world physics here. And I have to go that direction, but I'm not actually going in that direction because I'm trying to avoid the monsters. Oh, no, don't. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. You know, I should be wearing a, a helmet. I swear I, I could have just, like, uh bang my head many times like get my brain splattered a lot of rock climbing involved which comic do you get from DOTM oh ouch ah, ah. of course just my luck That does not look physically possible. Alright, let's check on the baby. <clears throat> just sleep while I, uh... <coughs> just sleep while I, uh... I <laughs> climb mountains and roll down mountains. <laughs> Stop crying, baby. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna quit rocking you because you're a crybaby. We got no time for crybabies. Hey, there's a structure there. That. Oh, that baby's not gonna like that. Eyes open, dumbass. <laughs> Veteran Porter. I've never been here. I've never been here. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID. All weapons. Uh, is there anything I could take? Okay, baby's still crying. Weapons restrictions lifted. Whoa, what's this? This is medical stuff. Okay, let's just take it with us. You never know if we might need medical gear. Okay, we're not that far away. Only four kilometers left to go. I don't recognize any of these, um, like, terrain. Just because this game is so huge that it's hard, you know, it's easy to not go through the same place twice. know this spot Easy now. there's an abandoned wait wait a minute which way are we going road construction oh lake not city's that way okay so this is awesome i gotta take a screenshot of that okay i'm taking a screenshot hey, hey! 
Oops, wrong button. Okay, let me see if I can... Whoa! Whoa. <sighs> let me see if I can get a, a vehicle. Or actually, I gotta stand here to charge my... Uh, charge my thing. <clears throat> okay, looks like it's fully charged. Here we go. I can't believe we're doing this by foot. Hear that sound? That was the sound of uh, terrorists. Are they actually gonna chase me? Oh shit, they are. And I have no weapons. See those, those orange dots? That's them, I gotta get away from them. I have no, absolutely no weapons. I actually should have fabricated some weapons. Oh great, they're on their way. Any weapons I could use? Come on, come on. Maybe there's some weapons in here. Come on, give me some weapons. Nope. Share locker, is there any weapons in here? Nothing in here. I gotta get the hell out of here. They're, they're gaining on me. Oh wait, I could get something here. Alright, let's get some weapons. What? I can't get anything? Uh, I don't... Uh, I can get some grenades. That's crazy. Um, I, I need a vehicle. Just give me a vehicle. Garage. Okay, there's a truck. I'm getting the truck. Come on, hurry up. I gotta get in here. <clears throat> go, go, go. Okay, which way? Okay, here we go. We're going that way. I don't remember any of this, actually. I, I... Oh, music! Waterfall! Oh! Wow, I ri You know what's- Oh, shoot. You know what's crazy is that... I- I thought I'd been through the entire map. Um... And, but I don't recognize this part, actually. <laughs> I have seen Pacific Rim. Uh, the director of the movie, Guillermo del Toro, is actually in this game. Like, he's literally in this game.
Okay, I know where we are now. Hey, there's another truck. We got a red truck there. I know where exactly where we are. I didn't finish building the roads in mine, actually. <laughs> I kind of left other people to build the roads. The roads in my, my game were almost all built. Almost. going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand, <clears throat> supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out that's just the cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Hmm, interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Beginning scan. Scanning radius ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain on weapons restrictions. It's very foggy. The visibility kind of sucks right now. Oh great, I gotta get out of there. 
Get me the hell out of here. Oh, they're getting close. They're gaining on me. I gotta get the hell out of here. They're literally right behind me. They're everywhere. Keep going, keep going. Ah, crap! Go, 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 go. I have no weapons. Ah, oh, crap! It's time to fight! Nothing. Get away from me. Drop your weapon so I can use it. Gotta go, gotta go. I don't have time for this crap. I have a world to save. I can't find her. I don't think they come with guns actually. I mean, I don't think I can even take their guns. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, shoot! Go, 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 go! Another one of their base camps. Shoot! <laughs> okay, let's get the hell out of here. Which way is it? That way, okay. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, what a jump! I went the wrong direction. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, so uh, if I drop all my cargo, okay, what do I have? I don't have anything. They should be leaving me alone. I don't have anything. I need all those things. I need my boots. I need my my pants. <laughs> Get away from me. Whoa, what a jump. Wow, let's do it again. He's right behind me. But I'm kind of getting away from where I really need to go. Oh no, it's right there. It's that way. This fog kind of sucks. Uh, those are NPCs, actually. My birthday is August 15th. Okay, we have gotten away from them, as far as I know. Alright, I think we need to eat something. And we need to drink something as well.
Almost home. Almost home free. Let's do a super jump. Oh crap, no. What are, am I eating? I'm not eating anything. <laughs> what makes you think I'm eating? Whew. Surprisingly enough, I actually have to go back there. I need to get a... I need to go uh, get a, uh, a vehicle. Hopefully there's a vehicle there. <clears throat> oh, flip that. Please be a vehicle. All right. Oh, I like this one. Let's use this. All right. I can't believe we're almost home free. Let's go. Hey, oh. Sam. I see you're coming up on late night. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. I know there's something more. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so <clears throat> completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. -E. There's no time to lose. You have to save her I don't know and the director. Is. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in I the first be. place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Oh, there's so much more. <clears throat> Almost home. Gotta follow this road.
Sam. Should be seeing that on. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single, massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world. Oh God. Bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane, that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelie's beach. To exploit its power over every other beach. And trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. Which is why you have to stop oh him. Oh god, another boss fight. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Okay, I'm trying to get, get there. Get in and get her back. Shut the hell up it's our only go. hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. <clears throat> okay, okay alright. If not already. Load her up and watch her go. I don't even know what the hell this is talking about.
Galen Urso. Mm -hmm. I made the same mistake. Be yourself. Be free. Captain, I need you to hand it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him! I gave you an order. Shoot him! Uh-oh. What's next? I have to fight this guy? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to go pee, and I'll be right back in three minutes okay so uh, stay tuned I, I just want to keep my my videos my uh, streaming videos uh, broken up into one hour each okay so I'll be right back in five minutes or three minutes however long it takes me to pee I've been holding it for a long time <laughs> for one hour <laughs> 